So it's the top of the hour. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome um, to today's webinar. Um, my name is Lisa Schwab. I'm the Sales Director at SVA Software Inc. and I'm based in beautiful Austin. Questions are very welcome today and if you like, you can submit your questions via the chat and we will answer them at the end. The subject of today's webinar is how to automate the audit of tapes for compliance while working remotely. Very interesting topic these days. Our speaker today is Rosario Newman. Uh, Rosario has roughly 20 years of experience working with clients to understand IT requirements and designing storage, SAN, and business continuity disaster recovery solutions to meet the organization's requirements that provide business value. Her specialization is on the storage and also on SAN networks. Rosario joined SVA Software in May of 2017 as a te technical consultant, and prior to that, she was a storage technical sales within IBM. So everybody enjoy your webcast, and I'm going to hand over to Rosario. So thank you for joining this webinar this afternoon. I'm going to cover three areas today as part of our agenda. First, I'm going to discuss the challenges that customers who use Spectrum Protect have when auditing a large number of tapes, and also talk about our solution of how to, our solution is designed to fill this gap to comply with mainly with the long-term data retention requirements. Let's talk about the challenges. So organizations understand that there's it's very important to ensure data quality and integrity of their long-term retention data to validate that this data can be accessed, read, and used by the application in order to, to meet business requirements of having data availability, and also to comply with industry and government regulations for long-term data retention. Um, these requirements are pretty much strict that require data to be available and also be usable when needed in the future. So while engaging with customers who use IBM Spectrum Protect to manage their backup and archive data, we've recognized that many IT managers face challenges when trying to comply with these regulations. And it's usually because the IT team struggle with going through this audit process, especially when they have to audit a large number of tapes because it's a manual process. They have to use commands that Spectrum Protect provides and have to set up these commands. And a lot of times this is cumbersome and it takes, takes a long time. And also it requires constant monitoring of the audit, of the progress of the audit and also monitoring to check if the tape library resources are not limited by these audit jobs. And at the same time, there's a struggle to go through the logs to go through the results of this audit and detect the damage files or the number of damage files that, that is encountered. Many times the IT administrators opt to go through the verification at the hardware level using the functions of the tape libraries. The tape libraries offer these built-in features to check the if any tape media is physically damaged. However, not only the verification at the hardware level is important, but also the verification of the data quality at the logical level. Because only, because only this could ensure that the data could be read again by the application when needed in the future. And be, because physically the data could be readable, but it could be logically corrupt. And in this case, the application would not be able to use it. So now I would like to take a few minutes to discuss our solution. Our solution is the tape audit tool that helps, that was designed to fill this gap. So first of all, it provides that automation needed and it acts as a front end to Spectrum Protect 
and it provides this control and efficiency so that the IT teams can actually go through the audit process and check off this, this to do this pro big project. And it ensures this data quality and integrity to help organizations meet these requirements and regulations for long-term data retention. It does this by streamlining this process of verification that Spectrum Protect provides, which is the verification at the object level. Because again, not only is the hardware level verification important, but also the verification at the logical level. And at the same time, it reduces the complexity of, again, auditing the large number of tapes because it does not require constant monitoring of the progress of the audit. And at the same time, it does not restrict the availability of any backup resources. For example, if there are any um, high priority jobs such as restores where more tape drives could, could be needed, the, our tool makes sure that this is a dynamic process. And it's easier for the, for the IT teams to look at the reports and determine the number of damage files. So how do we do it? First of all, we provide this uh, flexibility for to set up, again, as a front end, to set up the, the audit process, the audit jobs based on particular servers. So the IT teams can select a particular server, a storage pool, if they know where the a, a critical application is that they want to verify and go through this audit process, and they know where the storage pool is or which storage pool it is, they can select down to the storage pool level. It, they can select the frequency of the audit process and also select a specific number of tape resources such as, as tape drives. And again, I want to explain that the our solution has this dynamic feature where the tape resources are not limited to the audit jobs, but they can be released automatically and brought back in to the audit job again when those resources are no longer needed. It streamlines the verification at the logical level because it goes through the all of the objects in the database and it checks it against the backed up, backup data and identifies any corrupt or missing objects in a, in a file and it will flag that file as damaged. And it'll create historical reports of the audit process that can be used to comply to these regulations as proof of this regulation. So now I'm going to talk about some use cases or business opportunities where our solution fits really well and provides value. In the archiving, which we've been talking about, how the tape audit solution can help validate and streamline and provide this flexibility for the IT teams to actually go through the audit process and mark that project as completed. There is a, a recurring conversation with customers that are looking to implement an air gap solution. I'm sure you guys have heard of that because of the current situation with the cyber ransomware attacks to different companies and organizations. They, organizations who choose to implement the strategy when and use tape for it, and this air gap solution consists of just um, to recap the having an um, an off-site or offline, I would say, um, site where it's not connected to the primary or the disaster recovery site at all through any network. So it's isolated and it's usually implemented with tape because of the low cost. So our solution could fit really well for these customers looking to implement an air gap solution so that they can check for data quality and integrity of their offline media. If, as far as regulatory compliance, there's, as you're aware, I'm sure, federal health, environmental sciences also require that their long-term retention data be available and have 
quality to ensure that these can be used in the future, especially for, for example, geosciences labs, environmental science labs that take many satellite images for their projects that last many years from five to 20 years. So they have this regulation that they have to keep this data for that amount of years to be used in the future. So we're working with this customer um, back in Germany, who is a geoscience lab and takes images, satellite images of the earth to analyze these for changes to look for patterns in the, in the weather. Uh, let's see, uh, migration projects. This is another use case for tape audit, where the verification of the data is important in order to basically save time when doing a migration of the off of tape. It could be off of tape to new technology, new tape technology, or to disk, or even to the cloud. So the, this would be used as a preliminary step in the migration process to avoid migrating data that it's really not readable, could not be used in the future. And this slide talks about the different regulations that we have in place here in the United States. Based on industry and banking, for example, there's regulations to have data available for six years for certain financial transactions. Uh, let's uh, see health. We have the HIPAA regulations for medical confidentiality, et cetera. So if you have clients that belong to these industries, they might be looking to have a way to automate their audit process. And now I would like to give a few a show a little bit of our, our product. I've set up these slides that show the process of setting up the tape audit using our tape audit solution. So this, this shows how it easily can, the IT teams can look at the available resources starting from the servers, the Spectrum Protect servers that are available that will need to be part of this audit process. And they can select different parameters, such as the specific libraries, the tapes, the resources, the storage pools, and also select the time frames and frequency of the audit jobs. They can select several, set up several audit jobs at the same time and indicate how many drives will be used in each job. As it goes through the audit process, then it will show the results as far as the number of volumes that have been audited, the number of files inspected, and if it finds any damaged files, it will show the numbers in this area. As far as the reports and audit history, you can select to preview the results of the audits. Again, it will show as a success rate or not in the number of files inspected and the number of damaged files. And these can be generated automatically as well. If there are, if the teams are dealing with a large number of tapes, they can see the audit progress through this graphical slide by indicating this slide indicates the, the number of tape drives that have been or tape media that has been audited based on per day or per week, et cetera. So it would show the progress of those. And it will indicate how many, the, if there are any files damaged that have been encountered or volumes that remain to be, to be audited. Now to, to discuss the installation requirements, it's, Really easy to install. It's, like I said, it's a front end interface to Spectrum Protect. It takes about 30 minutes to install. And the setup, if there's a large number of, of tapes to be audited and a large number of tape resources or servers, Spectrum Protect servers, that could take up a few hours. Um, it supports any Windows, Linux, AX environments as far as installation. There's no requirement for a dedicated hardware. It can run on a VM or it can run an instance on the Spectrum Protect server. 
And if you have questions about the subscription model, I have here some information that it is based on an annual basis. So this is a subscription model that is charged uh, per year, and the license is based on the number of audited tapes. So there's a tier level licensing based on the number of tapes. And as a summary, I want to emphasize that there's no development needed. It's already, it's a solution that connects directly to Spectrum Protect to streamline the detection of bad logical data. It's easy to generate the reports and IT organizations can then comply, make sure they're complying with the regulations for long-term retention data. And it reduces this complexity of auditing, auditing and going through that audit process that many organizations are challenged with. Okay, I have a, one question that I see here. Does the tape audit solution support copy container storage pools or container storage pools? The, okay, so the answer to this is the tape audit solution does not support the container storage pools because that requires a different type of of audit process and uh, we haven't seen a requirement for this much but it could be a possibility that in the future could be supported we support the storage storage pools copy pools archive pools and how does it connect to spectrum protect it's the answer is that it connects via via ip is just a front end um, to spectrum protect it does not require server or any it can be run on a vm uh, does it use the same audit library commands in an automatic way yes so uh, the our solution tape audit is using the commands of spectrum protect um, and what it does it's it provides this automation gui interface front end to be able to select those parameters such as a specific storage pool specific server recurrency of of the audits time frames etc to add to that it does not follow or use the same schedule that the administrators have usually set up this allows you to create your own schedules for the for each job individually thank you for the Okay, Lisa, those are all the questions that we have. I want to thank everybody for joining this webinar. Thank you for checking our channel. According to statistics obtained from different events around the world, such as the IBM TechU, eight out of every 10 systems administrators are looking for ways to implement automation and analytics in their daily work to increase productivity. We have this and many other solutions to help you embrace the power of automation making your IT infrastructure more efficient in different areas, such as storage, disaster recovery, virtualization, mainframe, and many more. Make sure to subscribe and go to svasoftware.com to find out more or contact us directly. Thank you.